hey what's popping what's popping traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video guys we are going to be looking at how you can place trades directly on your trading view guys without wasting any of your time let us get on with it right so the first thing that you may want to do is obviously you go over to trading view right to log into your trading view account right and then just as i have logged in right here and then you go over to what you go over to trading panel at the bottom right there there we go you go over to trading panel and then you go over to see all brokers there or you can uh, first maximize that uh, um, that panel right there and then you go over to see all brokers right there right so here you can clearly see that we have forex.com, ice markets, FXM, easy markets, paper stone. So these are the only brokers <laughs> that are actually available for you to use if you want to trade directly um, into trading view, right? So you can check whether, whether your broker is here or not, right? But now, with that being said guys right so these are like the only brokers that you can use to trade directly from trading view we have interactive brokers right there but now i want us to look at this feature here that is called paper trading guys you may want to use this feature that is called paper trading why because this is going to, this is sort of like a demo account on trading view right so let us just click paper trading right there and let us then connect paper trading right there right so here you can clearly see that i've just connected to my paper trading and there is my fake money you trade using fake money right so why is this actually important this is actually important because you know if you are still you know practicing your trading strategy uh, and stuff like that and stuff like that you can just do all of that inside of trading view if you are still back testing your trading strategy and stuff like that you can just do that all in trading view so how do you then um, play with your demo account on trading view right so it's either you go here let us just remove that it's either you go there and then you place on trade and then that actually appears there but you can clearly see that it is actually still it doesn't move what i like to do is i go over to undock right so here you can clearly see that right now it is actually doing what it is actually moving right there guys right or you can just simply right click right and then go to to trade and then go to create new order guys right so basically here you can clearly see that our account is seated at 99,000 us dollars this is just uh, a demo account right so now let us say that you have just simply found yourself a setup here right maybe you want to put your stop loss where maybe you want to put your stop loss there and then maybe you want to take your profits where maybe you want to take your profits there guys right so what you then simply do is first see how many pips this is from here to here this is 50 pips right this is 50 pips cool excuse me and then what what you then do is go over to trade and then you go over to create order before you actually do anything make sure that this take profit and stop loss uh, uh, um, uh, uh, boxes are actually ticked right so you can clearly see that our stop loss our stop loss was what let's just go there our stop loss was what was 50 pips you just simply go there 50 pips and then our take profit our take profit was how many pips let me just calculate our tech profit is actually 100 pips right so nice there it is saying 100 pips right so now what i also want you guys to take a look at is this number here this number there risk to reward ratio so basically it actually calculates the risk to reward ratio for itself maybe if your stop loss was 25 pips you can clearly see that um, now your risk to reward ratio is one is to four right but now our stop loss is actually 50 pips so it's actually 50 pips so our risk to right ratio is actually two. So now, um, you might not want to pay attention to the units there because it's it's, it's a bit complicated, right? So now you are, and then you go over to risk, right? To go over to risk, let us just sort this one out, and then let us say that uh now you want to place a trade and you are only risking one percent of your account, right? So you just simply come here to risk percentage percentage risk. Right, and what is it that you are going to do? You are going to actually type one, right? You are actually going to type one, 
which is going to stand for risking 1% of your account. Simple as it is. And what is it that you then do? You then go on to buy and then you go there. But you can see here that there is also limit, a buy limit, a stop limit. Sort of like the same thing if you're used to placing trades on trading view, right? You're not going to sort of like uh, 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 not be able to place trade. And then you click on buy last, then click on buy, right? So now you can clearly see guys what is happening here, right? Let us just wait for that. Here you are going to see your loss, right? Here you are going to see your loss or your current profits. And here, and here you are going to see the amount that you have risked your stop loss right so meaning now that okay on our stop loss we risk one percent so one percent of our initial ac uh, account is 997 us dollars meaning now that if we actually uh, lose this trade we are going to lose one percent of this account which is 997 us dollars which our main account is 99,000 US dollars. So 1% of 99,700 is actually this amount right there, right? So now you can clearly see there. And then if price actually hits our tech profit, right? If price actually hits our tech profit, this is the amount that we are going to make 1,994 US dollars, which is going to be 2% of our overall account. So guys, you can actually, as you guys can see that right now, um, it is saying plus 1.99 USD. It is green meaning now that your current profit is 1.99 US dollars, right? So now here is where you then see um, your running positions. You just simply go here, just simply go to paper trading. And here you can see your orders, your history, your account history, your trading journal, your position, your running position. You can clearly see it saying uh, profit to loss. Right now we earn profit of 17 US dollars, 15 US dollars and stuff like that. Simple as it is. Why do you need this? You need this to sort of like um sort of like calculate risks be able to follow proper risk management so if you've just found a strategy that you are testing on trading view you might just use the demo account on trading view or you know if you are probably using the brokers that are trading view uh basically offers you can just trade straight from trading view and you are going to be able to follow proper risk management nicely right so if you want to close manually also you just come here and then you just simply choose close position and there you go. Simple as it is, guys. Right. So that's it for this vlog, guys. Hope you did find value. If you did, do smash on the like button for me. See you on the next one. Goodbye.